Hey everyone, so today we're flying helicopters in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is the Bell 47 G2 by Fly Inside. It's a payware add-on that I've had for quite a while now. And today we're going to take off in Virginia, fly through some of West Virginia, and finally land in Maryland. So this is going to be an IFR flight, which stands for I Follow Roads. And we're going to follow the road from Winchester to Cumberland, passing through Berkeley Springs. So I'm flying this in VR, and a big part of that is because the visibility in this thing is just unparalleled. There's nothing else like it. And the helicopter's top speed is only about 90 mile an hour, so it's not like you're going that fast anyway. It's the perfect thing to go low and slow and kind of enjoy the scenery. And speaking of the scenery, I'm running a mod that replaces the satellite imagery from Bing with the satellite imagery from Google. There's a couple major reasons for that. The satellite imagery that comes from Bing Maps is, well, by default, very old. Um, in the areas where I live, it's like seven or eight years old, if not more than that. And they also apply a lot of color correction. And it's something that you occasionally see, especially in more remote areas with Google, is that from one square to the next, the color might be vastly different depending on what season it was captured or whatever. And so it'll go from very clearly green to very clearly brown with a hard line between them. And so to get around that, Asobo, the developers of Microsoft Flight Sim, applied a lot of color correction to their scenery. So everything has this sort of weird greenish glow to it almost. And when you run the Google Maps mod here, it gets rid of all that. You're just getting the raw imagery. The downside is you see the really rough or harsh transitions in some places, but in my opinion, it's generally been well worth it. The low-level detail here is fantastic. You can see a lot of stuff that gets scrubbed or removed or colored out in the default scenery. Uh, and it's just, I really quite enjoy it. I've been flying with it far more often than without it. That mod and everything else that's relevant that I use will be linked below in the description, like usual. Oh, and just a final thought. Uh, the full duration for this flight is just over an hour. Um, so I've taken out a few parts where there really wasn't much to see, just to kind of bring the duration down a little. So enjoy the flight, and if you happen to live in this area, you'll probably get a kick out of how little I know about what's down there and how wrong many of my guesses probably are. Flying over the uh, city of Winchester. Looks like they're all out of ammo. <laughs> this is cool. I wonder if this is like some kind of community here. Like apartments or condos or maybe an old folks community or something. Retirement community. Is that like a community center, maybe. This looks like it would be really pretty to get on a bike and just ride around. Is that like a bike path down by the water? That totally is. Bike path behind all the houses. That's fun. Got a pool in their backyard. Seems like a really nice little community. This game makes me want to look up places that I'm flying over and see what they really look like. I really know nothing about them. I know nothing about Virginia. So basically, I look at what I'm flying over and try to like put the pieces together and figure out 
some best guess for what some of the stuff might be and what this place really looks like. Junction station, maybe? And that could be a mall. And those could be restaurants, or it could be like an industrial warehouse of some variety. Right on the edge of town, who knows. Alright, and then there's some like trails through the bush here. That's cool. Wonder where those go. Well, there's another trail there. And then we have what's probably new developments. Kind of like just out of town. Look at how wavy the scenery is here. It's like that old car mat that everybody had, but with lumps and bumps and stuff in it instead of being flat. That's what a lot of this looks like when you're really down close to it. Alright, having a look at our map, we actually do have a road that goes most of the way. We're kind of headed towards Pawpaw right now. On the way up to Cumberland. I'm not really sure how long it's going to take there, but I feel like it's going to be a while. Uh, current airspeed, 60 miles an hour. So we could afford to maybe pick up a little more. Let's see if we can pick up the pace a little bit. We're good up to about 90 miles an hour. After that, it starts getting a little sketchy. Big farmhouse, maybe? Yeah, like, now we're out of town. We're getting into farmland, mostly, probably. Not much on this road. I'm trying to figure out what people have in their yard based on the satellite imagery. Nice big house there. Build out of town, the land is cheap, lots of space. Put up a giant house, is that maybe a lodge of some variety? Country club, maybe there's a golf course over here somewhere. So, right about here, we lose the twin highway and we go back down to just a two lane highway. As it turns out, there's actually a surprising number of people out there who don't know how to drive on one of these roads. Which is sort of news to me. So for anyone who doesn't know, you have traffic going the same direction as me on the right side of the road and the opposite way on the left side of the road. And passing someone going the same direction as you is... A bit of a risk, I suppose, because it requires you to move out into oncoming traffic until you get around them. That's just normal for where I grew up and still where I live. Twin highways are definitely not the norm, but I guess for a lot of people they really are. never really occurred to me that driving on a highway like this would make some people really, really nervous. Which I understand if you've never driven on one. Probably some kind of warehouse, I imagine.
trailer park, maybe? Those are solar panels. I wonder if that's just part of like the random house generation or like if it saw solar panels in the imagery and knew to put them there. It's interesting. Well, this is kind of neat. There's a whole little community in here. They're just all right off the highway. A little tiny place. But in there, of course, you've actually got some roads and houses and stuff off the highway. So it's like a deceptively large community for what you'd see just driving through. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're kind of headed up towards Berkeley Springs. Kind of don't want to do that. I kind of want to go left off to pop off, but like... I don't know how you do that, unless they've got a, a mountain pass that goes up and over, a road that goes up and over. Oh, look at all that. Shipping yard down there. It's a neat place. Yeah, otherwise, like, that's a pretty big climb. Especially in a little helicopter like this. Don't really have a ton of power available. I might actually have no choice but to like go up to Berkeley Springs and follow the road that way. I don't know if there is anything that gets me from here to where I want to go. They've got a pool above ground. And again, I suppose if I see something, I'll take it, but otherwise I have to go up and over. I could do. But it looks like if I just keep going up here, it, uh, there's a natural pass through. Alright, down there is a bunch of cars. Oh, I wonder if that's like a junkyard collector guy who just collects a bunch of cars. Maybe he runs a little mechanic shop or something out here. It's fun to guess.
right, so this will be Berkeley Spring proper, I suppose. Berkeley Springs. Looks like it starts to spread out a little more up there, and then we should be able to go left around pretty much any time now, I would say. Meet up with the road again on the way to Cumberland. Or just follow it, because why not? No idea what most of this is. Mall, maybe? Office building up there, perhaps? Some, like, headquarters. Oh, maybe that's a school. If that's a track and field and a baseball diamond. Yeah, that's very likely a school then. Although with all the semis over there, maybe it isn't. Well, they've got an actual soccer stadium and baseball diamond here. Football pitch, maybe. Probably more like, yeah, that's football. Hand egg. Ooh, the weather just changed rather suddenly. Yeah, here's like the real town. Now we're getting a little wider than just the highway. A couple blocks in another direction of... Oh yeah, it goes up on the ridge there. Radio tower, maybe? Or cell phone tower, one of the two. A lot of industrial stuff here. It's gotta be a neat place with this ridge right here. Neat place to live. things that make it into the imagery but don't get 3D models because the game just doesn't know what to do with them. I also don't know what that is. Is that... Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to even guess. That looks like it fills up with water. A quarry, probably. A bridge down there? It is. So there's this little side road here that takes you in there. I wonder if it's like a swimming hole or if that's a dam. Either way, it's cool. Coming up to an intersection up here. We're going to hang a left. We'll continue on to Cumberland. We have to go and look up Berkeley Springs now because that's a really neat place.
It'll be fun to come through here in American Truck Sim once it gets this far east. Let's we'll see if some of these cities and towns make it into the game and how they're represented there. Hello, trains. There's an airport. Berkeley has an airport. That's a cool place. Maybe I should come by here in a plane. Alright, I need to go left. Where was my road? Is this... Yep, this is my road. I think. Maybe that is up there. Hard to tell. Is that... I don't know if that goes... Anywhere. Without the road signs to know, like I could follow that road, but it might take me nowhere. This looks like a, I'm pointing. You guys can't see where I'm pointing. This looks like a bigger road up here. Yeah, that's going to be the one. Another sports plex out here. You all Americans like your sports. And I can see the pass through the quote-unquote mountain ridge. I'm not actually sure what the right term for it is. Need more speed. I can climb, but I'm not going fast. <laughs> Those bridges don't look safe. I'm gonna guess this was blasted. This doesn't look like it was just naturally formed. At some point someone was just like, you know what? It sucks having to drive all the way around. Let's go blast a hole through this thing. Gotta love those stretched out textures on vertical surfaces. Welcome to the other side. You know, my assumption is we're kind of in this valley now all the way to Cumberland. Assuming we have enough fuel to get there, that's going to be the question. We're now at a quarter tank. Well, I'm going to need to do a little slowing down. That buffeting and shaking there is the you're going too fast warning. Precursor for a retreating blade stall, which this does model. Also models vortex ring state. Like it's largely a really complete flight model. Does translating tendency, transverse flow, ground effect, torque effect. All the usual kinds of things that you'd be looking for in, like, a DCS flight model. Not sure about LTE, haven't done enough testing, but... Actually wouldn't surprise me, because wind in this sim is a little more complex than it is in DCS. Alright, sun's starting to go down, it's starting to get a little, uh, dim out here, plus it's cloudy. <laughs> that road just looks like it goes into nowhere, like into some trees. The end. The trees being oversized is a nice little trick to make things look good without having to render twice as many trees. But when you get close, they cover up stuff they shouldn't. Well, 
air comes out, I guess. <laughs> the raw road texture is underneath the bridge. And now there's not a lot out here. It really isn't. I mean, there's roads that go places. I guess there must be stuff out here. There's paved roads that are leading places. How are we doing? We're getting there. Yeah, fuel should be okay. We might be cutting in a little close, though. I don't actually know how long I have with three quarters of a tank. I should start measuring that. genuinely surprised that like all of these little service roads or side roads here are paved. My expectation is that they would all just be gravel based on the fact that they don't really go very far or serve that many houses. But here we are. I wonder if that was a church or something down there. Big parking lot, one building. Looks like a beautiful highway. Three lanes on one side, two on the other. Nice treat in median. Pretty thick forest on either side. Trucks. 
because they're going to climb up this hill a little slower. The bridge looks a little funky again. More blasting, meeting up with another highway here. Maybe it just went around, I don't know. hotel or something out there. I wonder. Maybe just some office building right on the water, but it's kind of neat. What is that? <laughs> okay. Sure. What a golf course it is. Ugh. That's got to be a challenging golf course. Shadows are getting real long. Almost there. Hopefully the gas holds out. And here is a rat alt. I do not have a radar altimeter. And in a place like this where elevation is changing constantly, you know, if somebody told me maintain 500 AGL, um, geez, I would not be able to do that. That has to be like a mall or something. Maybe that's some plant people work at. Oh, that's a parkade. There. Hmm. Hospital, maybe. It's too far away from the airport to be like airport hotel. Football stadium. Probably a school. Cumberland Airport, and then I'm looking for maybe that grass clearing right behind it. Hard to know. It does kind of look like it. Train yard. Hello, trains.
would have just gone there, but I took a job in Flight Sim Economy that wants me to go to this Mexico Farms place, which is supposed to be right back here somewhere. Kinda hard to tell. It always is with the grass airfields. It's like, how are you supposed to know? They don't really stand out. They just are. A lot of them are just like in a field. So, I mean, it could be that right there, for all I know. Let's have a look. No, oh, it's across the water. Oh, that might be up here. There. Oh, I can see the shape of it. Check this out. So, right down there. And then, from that way, this way. from behind me, so I'm going to want to turn around. I'm trying to keep my speed up a little. down. I should probably have, you know, transitioned to hover at a lower altitude than this, but that's okay. Just bring ourselves down. No big deal. Wish I had a trimmer button. Wish I had a trimmer button. made it, and my error turned out to be that I started with only half a tank instead of the intended three quarters of the tank. Hopefully the VR footage was reasonably watchable, and I'll see you next time.